How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to an episode here on Let's Build Twitter. As always, I'm Ethan, or Unknown Coder, your favorite underqualified senior software engineer. And as always, if you guys do want access to the private repository, there's a link in the description down below that'll walk you through exactly how to do that. Now, with that being said, let's go and hop into what we're working on today. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue working on our modal here. Specifically, I want to go ahead and pretty up whenever we have conversations and maybe search for people. I'm not sure if it's for searching people as well. I might need to do more research, but at least when Whenever we are have conversations in here, I want to look nicer and I want to look like Twitter's. So that being said, let's go and hop into the code and get to work and get this finished up. So today we're going to be working on the front end. The first thing we want to go and do is I want to hop into our Redux slides for messages. And this interface right here is going to be used across other places. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then let's go into our uh, global interfaces. So let's go into utils global interfaces. I'm just going to go to the bottom here and let's go ahead and export it out of here and then bring it back into message slice and this will just go ahead and make our life a little bit easier down the road as we get going so export interface conversation user and let's go ahead and actually save this that way our message slice can see it and then we'll go ahead and if we come down here to where we're actually using this so did i go over it or did it just automatically let's see i don't see here we go conversation user let's go ahead and import it and save all there we go. So that's good to go. Let's go back up into our features and then our components for messaging components. Hit A and we're going to go ahead and create the create message user card slash create message user card dot TSX. And let's also create message user card dot css let's go ahead and hop into the tsx file and get to work here this is going to be a multi-part process we're first going to go ahead and just put in the components we're going to make it look pretty make it work and we're going to go back through and add in the logic for actually clicking on it and stuff like that so let's first import react whoops from react and then let's also go ahead and import our css so we don't forget so this will be create message user, whoops, car.css. And there's also a check mark that I probably should have inputted from material UI. So I'll see if I can find it, but um, we'll deal with that in a second. We're going to set up an interface here, a create message user card props. And inside is going to be pretty simple. We're going to have the users for the user card because with this conversation, you can have multiple users. We're going to have a conversation name, which is optional because whenever you have a group conversation, you can name it inside of a different setting. We'll also have a conversation picture because again, whenever we get a little bit farther, we'll be able to actually pass in a picture for the conversation if it's a group message. I don't know if you can, maybe you can with individual people as well, but you can go ahead and set these later on. Let's go ahead and export const create message user card which is a react dot function component which takes in a create message user card props and i spelled that wrong i'll fix it in a second that's fine and this will take in users so take in conversation name and this will take in conversation picture let's go ahead and rename this to props like we want and there we go. So now it's mad at us because we need to go ahead and return something. So let's go ahead and say const selected and set selected really quick is equal to use states. And then here, this will be a Boolean and false. So now we click on a single user, we'll go ahead and select it to be added to a conversation. And then we're also going to go ahead and just quickly set up a handle conversation clicked. And then this will be E react dot mouse events on an html and this will be whoops html this will be a div element and then inside we're going to be pretty simple here it's going to stop propagation that way nothing funky happens i don't think there will be any propagation here but it is what it is we're going to set selected we're going to pass in selected and then inside we're going to return not selected so I'm just going to go ahead and basically check that selected and not selected and we'll do more of the logic a little bit later on. Now let's go ahead and return, return our div with a class name equal to, this will be create message, whoops, 
user. And this is going to be a struggle, I guess. And then this will be on click equal to handle conversation clicked. And there we go. If I could actually do this properly. Now there's going to be a lot of divs and a lot of classes and stuff in here. So hopefully I don't break anything, but let's just go ahead and set this up. So I have another div with a class name equal to create dash message user card. And this is going to be left container. I actually know my positions this time around inside of our left container. I have a div class name equal to create message user card dash pfps dash container. We're going to do something special with this that like Twitter does. So this will be interesting. But for now, we're not going to put any logic. We're just going to see if we have a conversation picture. If we do, we're going to go ahead and have a div, a class name equal to create dash message user card pfp and the reason why we're not using the pfp component we have is because these aren't actually clickable you don't go to the user's profile these are just pictures so that's why we're doing it differently style is going to be a background image and here we're going to have back ticks url and we're going to go ahead and do curly braces it's not curly braces parentheses dollar sign curly brace and it's going to be conversation picture we also need to go ahead and wrap this in quotes, otherwise it won't work. And you'll see why we're doing this in a second. We're doing something special with this. And then otherwise, we're just gonna also have another div with the class name equal to create message user card PFP. And again, the style will equal to background. Whoops. Maybe background image back text url and then we're going to go ahead and say parentheses and then quotes dollar sign curly brace here we're just going to go ahead and say default pfp for now and we need to go ahead and import that which i'm not good at remembering where it comes from or what it's called but let's go ahead and try to import our default pfp so we're going to import and then we're just going to call it default pfp from and this is comes from our assets we need to go all the way out to assets and I forget what it's called inside of assets. It's like default underscore PFP dot web P or something like that. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and show the default PFP again. We're going to have some custom logic here to determine what this looks like, but I want to kind of just get the structure done. So now outside of our PFPs container, let's just go ahead and have a div inside the div. We'll have an H3 with a class name equal to create dash message user card info nickname so this is going to be basically who you're messaging with we're going to have some logic to deal with this as well but for now we're just going to have users one and nickname just to have it there then we're going to have a p the class name equal to create message user card info whoops info Text here, we're going to go ahead and just do the logic. So users dot length. If we only have one person in the conversation and let's actually go ahead and make this look prettier before I break everything. So if we only have one person in the conversation. We're going to go ahead and just have back ticks at and then dar sign curly brace users zero dot username. And then otherwise, if we have multiple people inside the conversation, we're going to have back ticks dollar sign curly brace users dot length and then people this is what twitter does so if it's a group chat with multiple people we'll just say users um, how many people there are otherwise we'll say the user's name and then finally we'll have a div the class name equal to create message user whoops user dash card dash following container and inside here we're going to have a follow notification SVG. We're going to have this at height of 12. We're going to have a width equal to 12. We're going to have a color equal to, and this will be RGB, um, not a just RGB one, one, three, one, one, eight, one, two, three. I stole this from Twitter. And then below that, we're just going to have a P the class name equal to create dash message user card info 
dash text is the same as above and then this will just be following text this is going to have some extra logic on it as well in a little bit again i just wanted to get the structure and then finally outside of like our left container here so here you can see our left container we're going to have one more thing we're going to have if we are selected and and then we need to go ahead and get this from our material ui it's called check sharp icon or i think we could probably just call it check sharp and it'll probably grab the same thing so i'll try that and see what happens sx is going to be equal to height of 18 px we'll have a width of also 18 whoops px and then we'll also have a color of twitter blue so this will be pound 1d 1a and then f2 and then let's go ahead and close that off so if we have selected it we're going to go ahead and show that and let's see what's going on i don't know why okay it's fine so that is our basic structure for this so let's go ahead and bring this into our create modal com uh, component for the content part it's not going to look pretty yet but we should at least hopefully see stuff and this is kind of pieced together from a bigger picture so hopefully it actually works let's go and hop into create message modal content so in here we need to do some work so first let's go ahead and get the logged in users we're going to say const logged in is equal to use selector and we'll have our states in root states state dot user dot logged in we're going to need that in a second and then let's go down here it says around line 75 so it's going to be inside this guy here instead of like returning a div here we're going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to do a little bit of work so first we're going to say let conversation users equal to logged in question mark so if we're logged in our conversation users we're going to say conversation dot conversation users dot filter user we're going to say user dot user id is not equal to logged in dot user id so as long as we're logged in we're going to go ahead and filter out our user from it if we're not logged in for some reason if something goes wrong we're just going to say conversation dot conversation users basically i want to get rid of our logged in id so then we can return and then create message user card and this is just going to take in users for now this will be conversation users later on we'll pass in the other stuff that we need but yeah we don't want to pass in our user we only want to pass in the users that are other than us basically so now let's go ahead and test this guy out without our css to do that we'll need to go into our postman then let's just go ahead and create a couple of things here and i might also hop into the back end in a little bit and update some data um but let's go ahead and do a 5-1 We'll do a 5-2, I believe. I think we want a 5-4, I believe. Then let's do a 5-1-2. And then we'll do a 5-1-2-3-4. I just want a wide range of conversations here to test a few things and just make sure it looks good. Let's see if we have this completely scuffed. Let's go and hop into the front end here and refresh it. So it is compiling. So that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and refresh. We should be fetching the conversation. So we go ahead and click on this. You see we have Rick. Um, the following text isn't, oh, it is showing up. And if we click on it, you can see that that pops up. I think I might have scuffed the color slightly because it doesn't look quite right. But you can see we have one with four people. It's just showing up just rick right now we're gonna fix that we have only two people and then we have the following text so the reason why i wanted to do this is because i think that i'm only following rick and i might get rid of the morty one actually no i think morty so what's gonna happen here is rick we're gonna be following only morty we're gonna be following each other and then bird person is gonna be following us so then we can go ahead and see the different text combinations and then here we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these eventually like the following because it doesn't exist but we're gonna get to that point so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and switch up a little bit instead of just working on all the logic straight on this we're going to break it up and work on the css so let's go ahead and hop into the css and get to work here so here we are on the css let's start out dot create message user card if maybe and this is going to be a width of 100 we're going to have a padding of 12 px and 16 px we're going to have a display of flex we're going to have a justify content which is going to be space between we're going to have align items in the center. We're going to have our dot create message user. 
card and this is going to have a hover on it it's going to be a cursor a pointer in a background color of rgba zero comma zero comma zero and then 0 0.1 i need to kind of have a more standardized approach to this i think sometimes i do one sometimes i do two i think 0.1 looks a little bit better at this point then we have a dot create message user card pfps container so basically if you're in a group message it splits the pfps into like three or four or two parts which is a little bit confusing so that's why i have to do it like this so we're gonna have a width of 40 px we're gonna have a height of 40 px we'll have a display of flex we're gonna have a flex wrap of wrap we're gonna have a border dash radius of 100%. It's still a circle like all the other profile pictures. And we're gonna have overflow hidden. So we hide all of that. Then we'll have a dot create message, whoops, user card dash PFP itself. Here, we're gonna have flex dash basis of 50%. We're gonna try to take up 50% of the basically width here, but we are also gonna have flex grow one so if there's no other card inside the space we'll go ahead and make it wider so that way if we have like three it'll go ahead and have like two on top and one on bottom we're gonna have a background dash size of auto 100 to kind of fill out and then we're gonna have background dash repeat on no repeat so we'll see what this looks like in a second once i get the logic for profile pictures working but it looks pretty neat next we'll have dot create dash message dash user dash card info and then nickname maybe and i don't know if i did left i don't know if i set up a left and right here but that's kind of concerning because i don't see our left container and maybe i just didn't need it we'll see but i thought i needed it and i might have just skipped over it yeah i just straight up skipped over it i'll come back up for it after i finish the nickname um so margin zero we'll have our adding maybe of zero we're gonna have a font dash size of 15 px and a font dash weight oh my goodness i forgot how to type of 800 i think that's everything for this so let's go ahead and hop back up here underneath the hover and then let's go ahead and do our create message dash user dash card dash left container because this also needs a uh, display on it so we're going to do display flex we're going to justify content in the flex start. We'll still align items in the center. And we're going to go ahead and give it a gap of about 8px between the items inside there. Now back below our create message user info nickname. We only have like two more. And this is going to be dot create message user card. And this would be dash info dash text. So we're making pretty good progress here. This will be margin zero. We'll have a padding of zero and then we'll have a font size of 15 px we'll have a font dash weight of 400 whoops and then this one has a different color so color we pound and then six five seven seven eight six which reminds us we need to check the color on that check mark but we can do that in a second we're going to go back in there finally have a create message user card info dash following dash container here we'll display flex will justify content in the flex whoops maybe flex start and then we align items in the center and we'll have a small gap of 4px and that's because inside of this info following container we have like the check mark and then we also have the text which is a paragraph so we need to go ahead and space those apart things should look a little bit better now if we go and hop back into the front end let's see if it looks a little bit nicer the logic's not going to be there yet but the styling should be so now you can see it looks like our following text we might have typoed a little bit let's just try again so our following text looks like we typoed something so let's go ahead and check into that but the rest of this is looking pretty good so create message user card following container i'm guessing the issue is inside of the actual code itself so let's hop back in there anyway and then see if we can fix that but it looks like everything else is looking good so let's see if we like type with something 
create message user card following container. I don't know if I just typoed something. Let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it over there. So let's see. Maybe it's just follow container. And maybe I'm going crazy, but let's see. So let's paste this. Create message user card following container. Maybe I had extra stuff. Let's see if it's looking better now. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Looks good. Obviously, all these just say Rick because he's the first person. That's not me. We're going to work on that and make it look better. So let's go back into the actual code now. Deal with the rest of this logic and get this all working. So back up at the top here, we're going to go ahead and set up some state from our um, reducers and some other stuff. So we're going to say const and first we'll start out with user state is equal to use selector. Go ahead and bring that in. We'll say state root state. Bring that in. We're going to say state dot user. We're also going to say const message. Whoops. Message state is equal to use selector. Once again, we'll have our state root state. And this will be state dot message. And we'll also need a dispatch. So const dispatch will be an app dispatch. And this will be equal, whoops, equal to use dispatch. So we're not going to do all the logic for like opening up a conversation, but we are going to go ahead and do some basic stuff. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some of the main things we need to do. So first off, we need to go ahead and set up our generate following text to go ahead and actually determine what the following text looks like. So generate and then following text of Pika. done this in a different order but this is just kind of how my brain worked. So first we're gonna to check to see if the user is logged in. So users, or if there's only one user actually, because if there's more than one, we're not gonna check for following. So we're gonna say let user equal to users zero. So this is the person in the conversation. I probably could have called it conversation user or something, but it's fine. I'm gonna say let logged in uh, follows user equal to check following and this is going to come from our user service we're going to say user state dot following in user and then we're going to say let user follows logged in equal to check following and this one's going to be opposite so it's going to be user state dot followers whoops and then users, so we're going to check to see if us, the person that's logged in, follows the conversation user. And we're also going to check vice versa. And then we're going to do a bunch of checks. So we're going to say if logged in follows user and not user follows logged in. If that's the case, we're going to return nothing. We don't re follow each other or anything. Next, we're going to say if logged in doesn't follows user and user follows logged in if that's the case we're going to return follows you and this should be lowercase right and then you can kind of get the idea of what we're going to do here and what did i spell wrong here logged in follows user whoops i misspelled this this should be user with the one s let's fix that and then i was going to go ahead and just basically copy this because it's going to be more or less just variants of this so let's go ahead and copy this guy to make our life a little bit easier so next we'll go ahead and check to see we'll say if logged in follows the user but the user doesn't follow us so then it's just going to say that we're following them basically and then finally if and i don't remember if i did the entire thing yes i did so then finally if we're following each other so if logged in follows user and user follows logged in then we will go ahead and return you follow each other like so and then otherwise if there's multiple people we're just going to return nothing and we won't have a following text that's kind of the logic for that next we're going to go ahead and say const generate nick whoops nick name text so once again we need to check to see how many people we have and then generate a specific text for that so if we have a conversation name we're just going to go ahead and return that conversation name early because that's just going to be what our, our nickname text is. And I probably could have called this like conversation text or something. But it is what it is. If our users dot length is equal to one. Then we're just going to go ahead and return users zero dot nickname. So simple enough. And then we're going to say else if. And this is going to get a little bit messy. But it is what it is. Users dot length is equal to two. If that's the case we're just going to return. And then backtick dollar sign curly brace. User zero dot nickname 
And you'll see why we set up so many different conversations here. Dara sign curly brace users one dot nickname. So if there's only two people, we'll just go ahead and list out both people. Not that big of a deal. And then else if our users dot length is greater than two and probably good to send else here it is what it is, but I'm not that concerned about Dara sign curly brace. We'll say users of zero dot nickname comma dar sign curly brace users one dot nickname and then we'll say and dar sign curly brace users dot length minus two and then others so it'll say hey you're in a conversation with this person this person and other people let's go ahead and return this so it doesn't break and then a lot of like group messages will probably end up having like a conversation name anyway. So um, it'll get overridden by that anyway. Next, we'll go ahead and say const generate PFP. And this is going to take in a user and then user like so. And this will return a JSX dot element. And let's make sure this is actually an arrow. There we go. So here we're going to go ahead and return user dot profile picture question mark so if they have a profile picture we'll have a div class name equal to create message user card dash pfp we'll have our style equal to background image and then this once again will be our back ticks url we'll have this guy and then we'll have quotes and this will say dar sign girly brace user dot profile picture dot image url then outside of our style i'm gonna go ahead and close this div that way i don't forget but outside our style we're gonna need a key equal to and let me go ahead and see what the key looks like so the key is going to be backticks dollar sign curly brace we're going to say user dot user id and then dash conversation dash pfp that way it doesn't get mad at us whenever we are looping through these otherwise if we do not have a profile picture on user or the div class name equal to create message user card pfp style once again will be background image and we're going to have backticks url and this one's going to be slightly different we're still going to have curly braces but this one's just going to be dollar sign curly brace and then default pfp we don't have to put the quotes on there because it's not going to be in a url somewhere and then key once again will be backticks dollar sign curly brace user dot user id and i did this wrong let me fix this dollar sign user dot user id dash conversation dash pfp let me go ahead and close this div and it's acting a little bit funny so do we have an error nope looks like it's working cool so if they have a profile picture we'll make it the profile picture otherwise we will make it the default pfp cool we are inching our way closer to finishing here so now the last thing we need to do other than using these is to deal with our handle conversation clicked and it's getting a little bit long so hopefully we can get this done we'll say if oops we'll say if users dot length is equal to one then we just want to go ahead and add the user to the conversation and set it as selected. Otherwise, we're just going to open it up if it's a group conversation already. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and set selected to not selected. And then we're going to say let current conversation users equal to JSON dot parse JSON dot stringify. And we're going to say message state dot conversation users. So we're going to make a deep copy of our conversation users. Then we're going to say if our current conversation users dot sum and this is going to be a little bit messy but this is going to be a u which is a conversation user and i don't know if we actually end up needing the conversation user part but it is what it is and this is going to be u dot user id is equal to users of zero dot user id so if it exists already in the list we're going to go ahead and say current conversation users is equal to current conversation users dot filter and we're going to go ahead and filter out that user which is a conversation user again i don't know if i end up needing this it was being a little bit weird 
before. So that's why I'm doing it like this, but we're gonna go ahead and say this conversation user, and then we're going to go ahead and say u.userID is not equal to users zero dot user id and it seems like it's going to be mad at us yes it is i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this u part the conversation user part and it looks like it'll be fine maybe it won't let's just wrap it maybe i don't know why this likes to be a pain in the backside a lot of the time conversation user there we go okay so otherwise we're going to go ahead and say uh, current conversation users dot push we're gonna go ahead and push one user id user zero dot user id nickname is users zero dot nickname and then pfp will be users zero dot profile picture question mark user zero dot profile picture dot image url otherwise nothing but then we'll just push that and then we need to go ahead and dispatch and we're going to go ahead and dispatch update conversation users and we're going to go ahead and pass in the current conversation users so if it's a single person we'll add it to the list otherwise we're just going to go ahead and open up the conversation we're going to go ahead and we have to map this unfortunately i'm going to say let the users equal to a conversation user array equal to users dot map user user and then this is going to return and this is going to have a user id which is user dot user id we're going to have a nickname whoops which is a user dot nickname if i could type and then we're going to have pfp which again it'll be user dot profile picture do we have a profile picture user dot profile picture dot image url otherwise we're just going to do an empty string and we'll check for that and then we're going to take this and we're going to go ahead and dispatch open conversation and we're going to pass in those c users next episode we'll look at how to actually do this properly we're going to dispatch our update display and this is going to be create message. We're going to go close out of our close our message creator. We're going to go ahead and dispatch our toggle pop up. So we're going to go ahead and next episode update this so that it actually like creates a conversation or opens it up uh, if it already exists. I'm going to do some logic to make it so that we're not making extra calls. So that's why it's not quite ready yet. But now we can go ahead and start adding this. So let's go down to around line 101. So this username um, nickname card here. So here and actually we went a little bit too far. Let's actually go to our conversation picture. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of the second part. So if we don't have a conversation picture. We're actually going to go ahead and say users dot slice. And we're going to say zero through four. We're going to take the first four users dot map maybe. And then we're going to go ahead and say user and not that and generate PFP. And then we're going to pass in the user. So we're going to go ahead and map through all of the users at least the first four users of the conversation and then put their profile pictures inside of our uh, pfp container and then next we'll come down here to our nickname part and we'll go ahead and say generate uh, nickname text like so and then finally we need to do the uh, message following container so we're going to go ahead and wrap this div inside of curly braces like so and then let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit and then we're going to do a check we're going to say generate and then following text and we're going to make sure it's not an empty string if that's the case what we're going to go ahead and do is instead of having following text here we're actually just going to call generate following text and hopefully this is all working properly so we'll go ahead and call generate following text 
like so and there we go so that's basically this guy done now all we need to go ahead and do is set up some of our following stuff in the back end and also put this inside of our message modal content so let's start out by putting in a message modal content. So now what we want to go ahead and do is at the top where we have our selected users, we want to go ahead and basically loop through our conversation users. So right here, selected user list, we're going to go ahead and say message state conversation users dot map because we actually should be adding them. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we'll go ahead and return again this is going to be temporary it's going to go ahead and return a fragment with user dot nickname and hopefully adding them in is actually working and then we can actually see if this is looking okay the following text isn't going to work properly let's just hop into the front end see what it looks like so if we refresh you caught a small glimpse of it uh but you can see if we click on rick it pops up rick morty we click on this it should pop up the messages as you can see we'll need some extra work to, to get this fully working um click on this one it opens it up we click on this now the only thing is like bird person so rick we're only following this one we're following each other bird person's following us so on and so forth so we need to set that up in the back end so let's open up the back end code data sql restart the server and get this working and then we'll be done let's go in to the back end let's go into source main resources data sql and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to add a couple things here so inside of following we're going to go ahead and add in two five and we're going to add in four five and then here we're going to go ahead and add five comma two and then comma uh, five comma four and this should go ahead and set up that other situation that i want so let's go ahead and restart our maven and then i'll be back in the front end once this gets restarted now if we close out of this and refresh we're gonna have to create all those conversations again because we just restarted so let's go back in the postman and then let's go ahead and create the five one we'll go ahead and create five two we'll go ahead and create five four We'll create five, one, and two. We'll go ahead and create five, one, two, three, and four. Just go ahead and create some conversations. Let's go back to the front end. Let's refresh it. Let's pop up our messages. Now you can see you follow each other. Bird follows you. There's two people in this conversation. You can kind of see the splits. So that's going to be what we work on today, I guess. Quickly, let's go ahead and fix this. I typoed something in there and that'll do it. So in here, one D, A1 to be a1 f2 that should fix that and there we go so that's everything i want to work on today i know it's going to be a little bit of a longer one but i'm going to just make this one big episode because there's no good way to split it next episode we're going to go ahead and probably make it so whenever you click on this it actually fetches the conversation and maybe fills this stuff in and then we still need to be able to go ahead and click on this create group icon and actually be able to select people that way i'm going to figure out a way to kind of put this into the same modal and stuff we should also probably go ahead and make it so whenever we do this it also shows up properly i just need to look a little bit better into how this part actually works but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up today hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe everything helps out with the youtube algorithm if you guys do want to go ahead and see where i started from absolute nothing to get to the point to where i am now there should be a playlist either in the description or floating around somewhere that starts on episode zero to all the way now so that being said as always i appreciate you guys hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video